Ladies and gentlemen, just a few days after Omar Abdullah was sworn in as the Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, there seems to be a change in tone of the National Conference patron Farooq Abdullah. After the cowardly attack on innocents in Gandharbal yesterday, Farooq's frame for Pakistan seems to have died down. Not only did he hold Pakistan responsible for the attack, but also took a U-turn from his original stand and wrote that there should be no talks with Pakistan till there is an end to Pak sponsored terror in the valley. Farooq also reminded the terror state that Kashmir will never become Pakistan. And this statement by the NC chief has given BGP fresh ammunition to reaffirm that talks and terror can't go hand in hand. Let's first listen into the war of words. Now tell me, what will I get to these people? Do you understand that this will become Pakistan? Today, we are watching this for many years. कि वो आ रहे हैं वहाँ से और हम कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि ये मामला खत्म हो और हम लोग आगे बढ़ें हम लोग मुश्किलों से निकल सकें मैं पाकिस्तान के अकुमरानों से ये कहना चाहता हूँ अगर वो सचमुच हिंदुस्तान से दोस्ती चाहते हैं तो फिर ये बंद कीजिए कश्मीर पाकिस्तान नहीं बनेगा नहीं बनेगा नहीं बनेगा हम लोग कैसे आगे बढ़ेंगे अगर ये चलता रहा वक्त आ गया कि इनको बंद करना चाहिए ये देखिए ये सभी लोग जानते हैं कि धमकी की दूरता और धमाकों की धृष्टता करने वाले धूल थूसित होंगे और ये बात चाहे वो फारूक साहब हो या चाहे और कोई लोग हो उनको भी अच्छी तरह मालूम है कि चाहे ये धमकी की दूरता और धमाकों की धृष्टता सीमा के अंदर से हो रही हो या सीमा के पार से हो रहे हो रही हो उनका सफाया होगा और जहाँ पर जो आतंक का अखाड़ा है वहाँ तो आटे की आफत है You're watching the news hour at nine. Debate number two on Times Now. Super prime time. Let's open this up. Shahzad Poonawala continues to be with us along with Sanjay Jha. We have uh, Major Gaurav Arya, editor Chanakya Forum, joining us on the broadcast and Nasir Loan, spokesperson of the NC. Let me begin with you, Mr. Loan. A lot definitely seems to have changed after abrogation of 370 and the recent elections. Uh, and this statement... Of course, it's a welcome statement, but has surprised many, given how Farooq Abdullah time and again emphasized on talks with Pakistan after almost every attack that took place. Uh, first of all, good evening to all of you. Uh, I don't think anything has changed. Uh, Farooq Saab has always maintained this stand. He has always criticized uh, Pakistan's Pakistan-sponsored terrorism. Because the biggest casualty of uh, Pakistan-sponsored terrorism have been the people of JNK, have been the political uh, workers of different political parties, particularly National Conference, over these past 30 years. So his stand has not changed. His criticism has been consistent. And after every attack, any major incident, he has always criticized Pakistan-sponsored terrorism. Whereas the talks go in, uh, we have always maintained that uh, Pakistan, the responsibility uh, not just lies on India, the responsibility is on both the countries and Pakistan has to take a step, uh, uh, not just uh, when it comes to talks, but also they need to, uh, they need to tighten the news on these Sir, uh, I'll tell you what has uh, terrorists. changed. Mr. Or, Lone, this uh, time around, Farooq Abdullah which, said which if they want, by they the he meant Pakistan. He said if they want good relations with India, they need to put an end to this. In 2021, Farooq Abdullah said, I will keep saying that India should hold talks with Pakistan no matter how much you criticize. He also said in 2018, how long will we keep saying that POK is our part? It is not uh, their father's share. That's what he said. So, you know, given what he said back then and now, there definitely is a lot of change in the stand. You may say that there's no change, but the state statements reflect that no no there is no that's what i'm saying there is no <coughs> change. any statement comes in a certain context and the context of today's statement comes from the uh, you know the the attack that happened yesterday the cowardly attack where we lost seven uh, seven precious lives uh, which was a targeted attack of innocent seven innocent lives that was lost that were lost yesterday and uh, there are almost uh, almost uh, i think 7 to 10 people who are grievously injured 
So it comes in that context. Yes, but, but this time around, he is not, always, not he asking the center to talk to Pakistan, not emphasizing on that. Rather, advising Pakistan to mend ways if they want good course, relations with of India. Of course, of course. When yes. When a, now, let, let when me a, open this up for our other guests. Major, a, major Arya, when a, when do you do you sense like and happens. do you see a change? When because it, if I'm when not when wrong, like this happens. Nobody, if I'm not wrong, in August 2024, Farooq Abdullah spoke about the massive deployment on the border. He was talking about. Uh, the clashes that have taken place and he also went on to say that ye sab mile hue hain hamari barbadi ke liye while he was talking about the deployment he was talking about the forces and now the same farooq abdullah says pakistan mend your ways or else you cannot have good relations with us this cannot continue uh, thank you swati for inviting me on your on your program uh, forget about you know for a minute what uh, mr farooq abdullah has said let's keep that aside uh, you as a tv anchor must have done at least five debates in the past where Farooq Abdullah Saab has said that you have to talk to Pakistan. You have to talk to Pakistan. You must have done those debates. Every television anchor has. So this is the mother of all U-turns. But this is expected. Sometimes he says that Tirange ko kandha dene wala koi nahi hoga. Ham barut ke dher pe baithe hain. Pakistan se baat pi chiye. Ye jo bache patthar phek rahe hain apni azadi ke liye lad rahe hain. This is the same Farooq Abdullah whose YouTube videos are very famous. Ram ke bhajan bhi ka rahe hain aur Bharat Mata ki jai bhi bhoot rahe hain. So here is a person who is morally flexible. Whenever he is, and I mean no disrespect to the individual, I'm not here to get into a fight with Mr. Nasir Lohan of the National Conference. All I'm here to say is that whenever the Abdullah family is in power, they sing a certain tune. They have a certain tone. When they are out of power, it is suddenly Pakistan. When they are in power, it's in India. It is the same with Mahbubha Mufti. This is Kashmir Valley politics, which I've been following for a very long time. It's very unfortunate that National Conference, you know, this used to be at once, once upon a time after independence. This used to be, uh, you know, the uh, uh, party of Magbul Sharwani. This party had real heroes. And it's so sad when you see... Uh, Mr. Farooq Abdullah says such things, you know, absolutely morally flexible. He will say one thing when he's out of power, he'll say it's just power. Hmm. Omar Abdullah has taken the oath. He's speaking like that. When tomorrow there is no national conference government, he'll say Pakistan. So, so it's just we've seen that you yourself have done. Just politics of convenience. 100%. See, they neither hate Pakistan nor India. They neither love India nor they love Pakistan. <laughs> this whole narrative about Farooq Abdullah loves... No, he does not love Pakistan. He does not love India. Farooq Abdullah loves himself. He loves his family. That's about it. That is the truth of the matter. Sanjay Jha. Neither they are, neither uh, they are traitors so nor they, they are patriots. The interest... They're nothing. Love for family and power. Yeah. In the interest yeah. of a fair debate, let me just make my points very explicitly here. Uh, I think Mr. Arya is insulting the verdict given in Jammu and Kashmir by making personal aspersions on people from the National Conference, which, by the way, got the public mandate to form the government. It's an insult <coughs> of the public mandate. And I think the right wing ecosystem and its supporters need to take a deep breath and calm down. Truth cannot be hidden. The, the fact remains, and here are two points that I point, want to point out. The disgusting, absolutely repugnant language used by BJP leaders today. Have you seen them, Swati? You should play them on your program. You know what they have done? They have actually blamed the government of Jammu and Kashmir for the horrific terror attack that happened. And look at how shameless they are for their cheap and vulgar politics. They are trying to polarize Jammu and Kashmir immediately when they don't tell the people of India and your viewers that today, whether it's the police, JNK police or the army, it does not report to the state government. It hmm. reports to the central government. Hmm. The central government, as per the JNK Reorganization Act, has the police, including obviously the okay. army. So okay. if there is a security failure, it is the BJP. BJP. And its supporters who come on TV channels and utter all kinds of very duplicitous verbiage okay. need to answer that. Okay, Shazad Punawala, answer that. Point. Can you stop us? Like Law and order is with the center. It's a union territory. Uh, it is BJP's responsibility. Since, Why blame NC? Okay, now, let him respond. Let him respond. Since we have somebody who has worked in the security paraphernalia, Major Gaurav Arya, for whom I have immense respect, he will tell you that, that terrorists also operate in an ecosystem. Jaise ecosystem unke favor ka hota hai, wo aur hausla bad jata hai. Yesterday what happened, you know? Mr. Former Union Home Minister Sushil Shinde said, I will refuse to call Afzal Guru a terrorist. 
and immediately after that this attack has taken place now sayog hai prayog hai mujhe nahi pata second thing also happened rahul gandhi said outsider outsider he was calling yeah. indians outsider he was calling bihari muslims outsider and immediately today six migrants have been targeted are you attributing these attacks let, to those let, i'm i'm, I'm completing my statement can you can you you have to allow me this Please. man cannot keep lecturing okay, me let me i am answering did i answer did i interrupt sanjay ji even once let me have my full say let me have my full say i'll complete my full statement i don't want to be lectured by a south bombay tennis player right now on television please no i'll complete my statement i are please now keep your volume down i have made my comments i did not once say that one is a cause and one is the effect hmm. i said these two are facts now sanjay ji is not with the terrorist condemn mr sushil chinde condemn rahul gandhi then lecture others and third and third point 2019 we abrogate 370 35a hmm. stone pelting is down terrorism is down bans are down investment is up suddenly things have changed in jammu kashmir what has changed in the last 5 days congress has come to power and this moment congress has come to power now you see afzal guru ke samartha kaisa now response yeah. sanjay ja bolo sanjay yeah. ja swati in short and i don't want to waste my time commenting on some absolutely utter preposterous rubbish of this man but i'm going Sushi back to what they said afzal guru not a terrorist okay, mr arya mentioned <laughs> mr arya mentioned about u turns well let me ask mr arya this question the actual u turn has been done by mr modi himself because his predecessor the more acclaimed distinguished very decent atal bihari vajpayee in fact even spoke to separatists in fact mr vajpayee was part of his engagement he talked about insania jamuria insania and mr modi touted the same and did a u turn so please please do not make all kinds of misleading deceptive statements since that is for major arya yeah. last word to your major arya yeah. yeah. no 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 he is asked a specific Sheikh question abdullah was put in jail for 11 years by congress and today they are in alliance with the farooq abdullah family so you are not in alliance with ye u turn nahi hai kya bjp bhi bjp bhi pdp ke saath alliance with bjp abdullah ne 11 saal jail mein dala somebody would remind bjp of the alliance with pdp also and if we talk about alliances then uncomfortable questions will come up for bjp also but that specific question was for major arya Yeah, so uh, I would just like to tell Mr. Sanjay Jha that I don't speak for the BJP, neither do I speak for the Congress. Uh, I'm a soldier. I've served in JNK, and in that capacity, I'm just telling you what I've read in the media, what I've heard, what I've seen in front of me, as my personal experience. Maybe BJP has done a U-turn. Uh, uh, Mr. Poonawala is here. He will answer. You can answer for the Congress, sir. Please don't ask me to talk for the BJP or any political party. I don't care either way. But yes. facts are facts and uh, i don't think you i or anybody else can deny that he has said in the past many times yes. that there is no option but to speak with pakistan there is no other option hmm. you have to speak to pakistan and today the same gentleman says and last point which i'd like to give sir is that you know you keep saying that insulting the mandate who am i to insult the people of jammu and kashmir i've served with them sir i've served with them पसीना आ रहा है कश्मीर में तो मैं किसी को मैं किसकी क्यों कश्मीरियों की बेइज्जती करूंगा नहीं कर सकता भाई बहन है मेरे को लेकिन जो फारूक अब्दुल्ला साहब ने गलत बोला है जो यूटर्न है वो यूटर्न है और इसमें कोई शर्म वाली आई एम नॉट देयर वाज अ टाइम इन 2016 व्हेन ओमर अब्दुल्ला आल्सो स्पोक अबाउट बुरहान वानी एंड सेड ही इज द न्यू आइकन ऑफ द डिसअफेक्टेड कम्युनिटी इन द वैली and today farooq abdullah says and he is in fact advising uh, pakistan ki agar india se acche relations rakhne then you have to mend your way something certainly has changed i don't know whether it's hidaye parivartan that stand parivartan or like major arya pointed out just politics of convenience we we'll leave it at that gentlemen thank you very much for joining us